We have details about what's on the agenda for tonight's town council meeting on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, August 7th, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. The agenda for tonight's town council meeting is not long, but is substantial. Barnstable this morning host Sarah Colvin caught up with town council president Jessica rapp Grassetti to find out more. Tell me a little bit about what uh, is on the orders of the day. What's on the agenda for the meeting? Well, uh, tonight uh, we will go right into uh, an item of old business after public comment. Uh, we don't have any um, reports from commissions, committees, or boards uh, at this meeting, um, and our first item of business under old business is uh, continuing the public hearing to October 16th on an appropriation loan order for the enterprise um, uh, or for the airport, excuse me, for their fixed-based operations building. And on request of Bud Brialt, um, um, we uh, will vote to uh, continue the public hearing on that once his plans and whatnot are, are uh, in order. So that brings us right to new business. Indeed, and uh, certainly, you know, not a, not a long list, uh, but some, but some pretty chunky items uh, under new business. Um, tell me a little bit about what the first item is, Jessica. Yeah, the first one, you know, and this is in regards to the land swap. Uh, I'll say um, in the uh, uh, conservation area uh, with the shooting range, and this, the first item would be approval of the change um, in management and control of the two parcels, one being uh, the West Barnesville Conservation Area and the other being, uh, we'll call it the Breed Hill Area and having a land swap there. Now, uh, this all came from the uh, uh, Conservation Commission who voted to uh, take, take the land out of conservation um, and then um, and they no longer needed for that. And then the Breeds Hill area, um, that land was in municipal use, and they want to remove it from municipal and put it into conservation. So essentially a land swap for that. And um, this is all stemming from the... Uh, uh, the fact that the uh, uh, it's going to be uh, two years in December when the shooting range was closed because of the town's insurance carrier no longer having coverage uh, on the policy there. So the uh, Department of of Conservation Services and the town staff, conservation, everybody is weighed in on this issue. Um, um, and it was closed because of that, and it was rec recommended that um, the shooting range has to be taken out of an 8C jurisdiction, which uh, this, in, in, in uh, layman's terms, it, it can no longer be in control of the Conservation Commission. It can't be conservation land if you're going to have a shooting range there. So this is one of the steps, uh, or two steps, involved in... in uh, um, perhaps opening the range. This is not a done deal by any means. Um, this uh, one of our requests, and this is going into the next item, 006, um, would be to um, authorize the town manager to to uh, uh, seek uh, um, uh, state legislation, um, petition the state, the court, to uh, for the swap of land. And this and that needs a two-thirds vote of the legislation as well as from the council. So before anything can happen, the state has to, um, to vote on it. And I don't see that, uh, frankly, happening until, uh, you know, January, the January session. So, uh, you know, we're in a wait-and-see um uh, pattern, a holding pattern there. I know there's people anxious to keep the shooting range closed and those that are anxious to see it open, but um, we have to take the steps, um, uh, you know, uh, with with care, so in, in that process. Indeed, and really, as you said, uh, a lot. Really, uh, there are a, a great deal of moving parts when it comes to the shooting range. And I know that you know that the, while the the land swap discussion is on the table, there have been some improvements made. There there is uh, plans in place to have a range safety officer, etc. So uh, certainly, um, still more work left to be done. But I'm sure it will be interesting to see what happens uh, at tonight's meeting. Yeah, um, and, and I I have to. Um, 
just alert the public, too, um, that these are not uh, public hearings, these two items. If, uh, um, if anyone from the public wishes to speak regarding an item coming up on the agenda, we, we do have public comment prior to the orders of the day, and that's when I'll be accepting public comment. And I, I w would ask that if we have a, a large group of people that are against this happening, that perhaps one person speak on their behalf and vice versa um, so that we can get through the orders of the day. The other, the other thing, too, to remind people is um, now that we have uh, item numbers attached to these items, they can comment on the agenda comment form online, so if they want to submit anything in writing to have part of the uh, uh, public comment. Indeed, and I think it's important for people to know that the public hearings on these matters were held at the Conservation Commission meetings uh, in the past. So that right. was, there has been a chance that it has gone by, but it's definitely very important to know That's that right. these particular right. items are not up for a public hearing at uh, tonight's meeting. That's right, right. And following uh, those two items, a couple of uh, C CPC approvals, tell me a little bit about uh, the 07 and 08. Yeah, these would be first reads, um, and these are referring a public hearing to September. I can't believe we're referring something to September already. Unbelievable. Goodness. Um, one, one is for the uh, rehab of the skate park and basketball courts at uh, Barnstable Community Horse Man Charter Public School. And uh, the skate park is actually located at the Highest Youth and Community Center. And they're looking for um, authorization to expend $71,911 uh, to that end, and I, I, I guess you know that sees a lot of activity that skate park, especially really does. Um, all, 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 all ages of people enjoy that. So, and they've had a significant um, donation from an area business um, towards that. So, this is the first read. So, um, this uh, um, won't be acted upon until September meeting, as well as the next item, which is also a. Uh, recreational ask of $100,000 for the creation of a new Little League field at Barnstable Community, Community Horseman Charter Public School. Um, they're asking for $100,000 for the, to create a, a regulation size Little League field located at the school. And that will also be referred to a public hearing on September 4th. That's right. Um, and that, that also has, has some significant matching funds. Um, the, uh, I know the Lyndon LaRusso Charitable Foundation has donated seventy-five thousand dollars in in-kind donations and from other sources. So that can be acted on on in September. Great. And then uh, finally, uh, the, a, a contract uh, for New Bedford Waste Services. This will replace the CMAS contract. Obviously, this has been a long time uh, in the works as well. That's right. And you know, we had a workshop recently um, regarding trash and got to meet uh, the uh, representative from uh, New Bedford. Waste, actually, I think he was from ABC, Mr. Um, uh, Balboni. And uh, normally the council does not uh, um, sign off on contracts or whatnot. This is the town manager's responsibility. However, anything over a three-year contract needs to be uh, um, voted on by the, the council. And this is uh, uh, a 10-year contract with two five-year extensions for the uh, disposal of our, our, of our municipal solid waste and the transportation and recycling with regards to that. So that's kind of um, <laughs> a long time coming for this as well, and that uh, would uh, be effective in January of 2015. Great. So, um, not, not a lot to the meeting, but I think uh, there's uh, substance to this meeting tonight. So. Absolutely. Some significant items uh, that I think will generate uh, at least a little conversation. That's right. It, you know, even though we only have one meeting uh, for the month of July and August, our, our uh, council's been um, busy with the appointments committee and with the roads uh, uh, subcommittee. So um, uh, there, there's been, there's been uh, work going on. And Town Council meets tonight at 7 in the Town Hall Hearing Room. That meeting will air live on Channel 18. We'll be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable, this morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we'll have our arts and culture segment. We'll learn more about Cape Cod Roller Derby, and we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.